Good day everyone. So in this video lesson, we will discuss about solving problems on business and consumer loans, especially amortization and mortgage. Our objective, solve problems on business and consumer loans, amortization and mortgage. So some of uh, definition of terms first is the amortization method. So when we say amortization method, it is a method of paying a loan. So that is the principal and interest on installment basis. Usually of equal amounts at regular intervals. Mortgage, a loan secured by a collateral so that the borrower is obliged to pay at specified terms. Chattel mortgage, a mortgage on a movable property. The outstanding balance is that is the any remaining debt at a specif specified time. So, for example, uh, Mr. Garcia borrowed one million for the expansion of his business. The effective rate of interest is seven percent. The loan is to be repaid in full after one year. So, how much is to be paid after one year? So, first, le let us identify all the given values. So, of course, yung 1 million na yan, that is the principal amount. So, 1 million is the principal amount. And then, yung 7%, that is the interest rate in a conversion period. Ano? That is the interest rate in conversion period. So, so yung N natin is 1, so 1 year lang. Again, yung J natin, so 7% is J, or that is 7%, or yung tinatawag natin na uh, interest rate in a conversion period. So, we need to convert into decimal. And then, our, so anong hinahanap natin dito? Since sabi dito, how much is to be paid after 1 year? So, kukunin natin after 1 year. So, the future value yung hinahanap natin. So, paano nga tayo nagsusold? Uh, nung future value? Of course, we're using this formula. The principal amount times 1 plus J raised to N. Okay, using that formula, so substitute 1 million times the quantity of 1 plus 0 0.07 raised to 1. And then simplify using your calculator. The answer is one million and seventy thousand. So ibig sabihen, uh, an amount of one million seventy thousand must be paid after one year. So next. So this is an example of chattel mortgage. A person borrow one. Million two hundred thousand, no one million two hundred thousand for the purchase of a car. If his monthly payment is thirty one thousand and a five year mortgage, find the total amount of interest. So interest yung kukuni natin. So the total amount of interest. So first, what are the given values? First, the principal amount is one million and two hundred thousand pesos. And then, uh, the monthly payment is 31,000. So, may monthly payment siyang 31,000. So, pagkukunin natin yung total amount. So, pagkukunin natin yung total amount, that is the monthly payment times, so, sa isang taon, meron tayong 12 months. Okay? So, magkano lahat yung total amount? Kung 31,000 siya nagbabayad, monthly and then that is on uh, hanggang limang taon yan so 31,000 times 12 times 5 para makuha natin yung total amount so pag minultiply natin yan the answer is 1,860,000 so yan yung total amount uh, the total amount of the car so tingnan natin so ano ngayon yung total interest so uh, magkano yung total interest ngayon of course Nang, uh, a per yung person borrowed 1,200,000 1, pesos and then nagbabayad siya ng 31,000 monthly. So, yung total amount nun, subtract natin yung one, sa 1,200,000. So, the total amount is 1,860,000 minus 1,200,000. So, yung total interest is 
660,000. So sa loob ng uh, isang limang taon, no, the total interest or the total amount of interest is 660,000. So for example, number three, if a house is sold for 3 million and the bank requires 20% down payment, so find the amount of the mortgage. So, tingnan natin. So, the down payment, that is, paano natin isolve yung down payment? Down payment rate times the cash price. Okay. So, we have 20% of 3 million. So, yun ang kailangan niyang uh, bayaran muna. O, kailangan niyang i-down. Okay. So, kailangan niyang mag-down na magkano? So, 0.20 times 3,000, 600,000. So, kailan makapagbayad na muna siya o makapag-down na siya sa bangko ng 660,000. So, ang kailangan natin kunin ngayon is yung amount ng mortgage. So, tingnan natin. So, yung amount of the loan, the cash price minus the down payment. So, the cash price is what? 3 million minus 600,000. The answer is 2,400,000. So, ibig sabihin, the mortgage amount is 2,400,000. Another example, Miss Rosal bought a car. After paying the down payment, the amount of the loan is 400,000 with an interest rate of 9% compounded monthly. So the term of the loan is 3 years. So how much is the monthly payment? Again, Miss Rosal bought a car. After paying the down payment, the amount of the loan is 400,000 with an interest rate of 9% compounded monthly. So, the term of the loan is 3 years. So, how much is the monthly payment? So, ang kinukuha natin dito is the regular payment. no? So, paano natin kunin yung regular payment? So, given the principal amount is 400,000 and then the nominal rate is 0 0.09. So, since 9%, kinonvert natin into decimal. And then, uh, N is 36. So, sa loob ng tatlong taon, since monthly yung payment, 12, sa isang taon, di ba, may 12 months. So, 12 times, so that is 36. So, yung, ano natin, rate of interest, so that is I over M. O, so, yung M natin dito is 12 kasi uh, compounded monthly. So, 0 0.09 over 12. So, that's 0 0.0075. So, to find the regular payment, di ba, uh, sa ano natin, para mahanap natin yung regular payment sa simple annuity natin, nakadepende sa given. So, kung given ang present value, so itong formula ang gagamitin natin. Pero kapag given naman yung future value, so ibang formula yung gagamitin natin. So, in this case, sa problem na to, so itong formula yung gagamitin natin dahil uh, given yung present value. So, what we're going to do, substitute lang natin. So, 400,000 over 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.0075 raised to negative 36 over 0 0.0075. So, the answer will be 12,719.89. So, ibig sabihin, uh, the regular payment is 12,719 89. So, every month, so, ito, uh, si Ms. Rosal, ito yung ibabayad niya every month. Kasi monthly yung pagbabayad niya. So, magbabayad siya ng 12,719.89. Outstanding balance. So, this one method to compute the outstanding balance is to get the present value of all remaining payments. So, this method is called the perspective method. So again, ang tawag natin kapag kukuni natin yung outstanding balance to get the present value of all remaining payments. So ang tawag natin doon is perspective method. So we use the symbol B sub K, okay, ito to denote the outstanding balance after K pay, uh, payment. So sa ibang book, uh, iba naman yung representation nila nung uh, outstanding balance. So in this uh, video lesson, so we represent outstanding balance as B sub K. No? For example, 
uh, Mrs. C borrows some money from a bank that offers an interest rate of 12% compounded monthly. His monthly amortization for 5 years is 11 million 122,000 ano 11,122.22. So, how much is the outstanding balance after the 12 payment? Again, uh, Mrs. C borrows some money from a bank that offers an interest rate of 12% compounded monthly. So, his monthly amortization for 5 years is 11,122.22. So, how much is the outstanding balance after the 12 payment? So, since 5 years to, oh, okay, 5 years, then monthly yung pagbabayad. So, ilan lahat yon 60, no? 60 yung uh, number of payments. Since naka, nabayaran niya na yung isang, yung 12 payments ay equivalent sa isang taon kasi 12 months. So, ibig sabihin may apat, pa, apat na lang na, apat na taong natitira. So, yun ang kailangan natin kunin. Yung outstanding balance niya dun sa apat na taon. Okay. The regular payment is 11,122.22. The nominal rate is 0 0.12 since 12%. And then, uh, the number of payment is 60. Okay, the rate of conversion. So, 0 0.12 divide 12. The answer is 0 0.01. And K. So, yung K, ibig sabihin niya yung uh, nabayaran niya na. Okay. And then, yung N minus K, that is yung remaining no remaining na kailangan niya pang bayaran. So ibig sabihin meron pang 48 months na uh, natitira para bayaran niya. So to find the outstanding balance, so we are using this formula. So the regular payment times uh, 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus j raised to negative n minus k over j. So per so, you, we are going to use this formula and substitute the uh, given values 11,122.22 times 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.01 raised to negative 48 kasi uh, yung n natin di ba is 60 60 minus 12 is 48 and then may negative sign tayo dito kaya maging negative 48 yan. So, therefore, the answer is 422,354.73. So, ibig sabihin, uh, ibig sabihin plus, ito pa yung natitirang pera na kailangan niyang bayaran sa 48 months. Okay, sa apat na taong natitira, uh, meron pa siyang outstanding balance na 422,354.73. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Wow Math channel.